What's up guys? Welcome to your 163rd Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do is we're going to set up kind of our widget class. Um, again, called Pointless Widget. And we're just going to get this working and show you guys some of the methods that we can use. And to create a widget, we need to extend from or extends the app widget provider. Because again, this is a provider that we're working with. And uh, we again just import this and let's see what methods we can use for this. So we're just going to right click, source, override, implement methods. And as you can see, we can use five methods on delete, on disabled, enabled, receive, and update. We're going to click update because that's going to be the most important one. Again, within our XML file, we called this update to happen roughly every 30 minutes. And again, that's just a rough estimate. Uh, it's not exact, so keep that in mind if, if your activity isn't, or your widget isn't updating exactly at 30 minutes. Just kind of rough time frame uh, that we're going to work with, and it's going to call this update method. We're also going to do the delete method. And again, um, if you guys remember, and I'm just going to move this up above the delete method, and uh, as you guys remember, when I drag that, that, uh, that widget into the trash can, what it does is it calls this on delete method. So what I did is I created a toast to make sure that this method was being called and you know uh, at least that's what I did when I first started working with widgets and you know it's always a good good idea just to create toasts and display them and hopefully they show up when they're supposed to. So we're just going to say toast make text and we're going to refer to the context that's being passed in. As you can see we get a context called context so that's what we're going to refer to and then all we're going to do is display a text like see ya sucker and uh, you know something like that and also set the duration so just toast dot set short and then all we have to do is dot show not shot show and there we go we'll, we'll show this toast when we delete our widget uh, just kind of an introduction for creating a widget in this on delete method hopefully you guys kind of understand that and then what we want this widget to do within the update method is change um, change that bottom text view to a random number. And we've worked with like random before when we were doing random colors for our text play activity. But again, just to review, it's pretty simple. We're just going to create a random object called R. We're going to set this equal to new random. And uh, then we're, all we're going to do is say int rand random int set this equal to r dot next and we want to define how many you know numbers it can choose from so we're just going to say something like that so it has a lot of numbers to choose from and then all we're going to do is convert that that into a string because again our text view it displays a string so we're going to call this uh, rand set that equal to the string value of the int so we're going to say string value of uh, our integer which we called random int. So there we go. Every time this uh you know we call this update method we're gonna get a random string which is gonna be basically a random integer and uh, convert it into a string. And we're gonna display that. I don't want to get too too much into you know I don't want to move too fast. So that's probably gonna be it for this tutorial. Again the update method is called when we defined it within our widget stuff XML um, or provider here and that's hopefully going to be every roughly every 30 minutes and also um, I don't know if you guys want to do this I'm gonna do this just to show you guys examples but I deleted the config and we're gonna add that back later but so you can either delete that and re put it in later when I do or you know leave it in there as well and just look at the examples I'm, I'm gonna show you guys in the next few tutorials so hopefully I'll see you guys then and have a good day